front of him bend over and spread his cheeks but also noticed the prison officer was actually enjoying what he was looking at. The officer was licking his lips as he looked at the guy bent over with his cheeks spread wide open. Charlie could see the look on the officer's face and didn't like it at all. It was the same look that a man gives a woman when he likes her. After the guy in front was finished it was now Charlie's turn to bend over and spread his cheeks for the officer but he refused. He then said to the prison officer I'm not bending over and spreading my cheeks for anyone because that's gay. I'm not going to bend over and spread my cheeks so you can look at me the way you just looked at that other guy while licking your lips, forget that. The prison officer then laughed while saying to Charlie you will listen to me woman, you will let me see your cheeks or I will put your hands behind your back and handcuff you, I'll then take you into that back room, over there and slap you. I'll then call 10 other prison officers over and we will all run a train on you. Charlie was mortified by what the prison officer just said to him. He never expected a prison officer to say anything like that to an inmate. Not wanting to upset the officer or get a train ran on him Charlie just listened to the prison officer's orders and bent over. He then opened his cheeks out so the prison officer could look. After the officer was finished looking he then said to Charlie, You have nice cheeks. I can tell they are untouched but don't worry woman because they won't be untouched for much longer. Charlie didn't have a clue what the officer was talking about. He was also freaked out by the officer's remarks so he quickly pulled his pants up and walked off while wondering, why did that officer just call me a woman? Can't he see this is an all men's prison so there are no women here, that officer is stupid. Another prison officer then came and escorted Charlie to his new wing. Once Charlie arrived in his cell he was really happy to find out that he didn't have to share a cell with any other inmates. Once Charlie was all settled in his new cell it was now time for social activities. As he walked up and down the wing he noticed something very strange about this wing. He noticed half of the prison cells were already open with no prisoners inside of them. He knew prisoners were housed in those cells because he could see their stuff inside of the cells. He knew there